Hello from Slovenia again. As you probably already noticed, I will do a reverse uh, cup bottom reverse flower dip today uh, as my fourth attempt of uh, different flowers that you can create with acrylic pouring. Uh, if you want to see the other three, I will put link into the description box where you will find my paints that I use, brands, you will find link <coughs> to the how I mix my paints videos and all of those important things that you can find into the description boxes of our videos. Sometimes we just don't pay attention to that as much. So I will use again the same colors. This is my pearl white mixture. And this is a Lizarian Crimson. It's much easier because I have my paints in squeeze bottles. And Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And I had way too much gold on the first time. This is 24 karat gold. And this creates a lot of lacing, so I will add less of this. And my Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I will do another layer of paint, pearl white again, Lizarian Crimson again. I like this color, it's kind of Bordeauxish color, really beautiful one. Cadmium Red. 24 karat gold and black again and now now I will grab my skewer to draw some whoop, lines petals shape I will go from this black towards the sides just to create this pattern here. I will blow this a little bit off of my flower shaped cup. And as you can see, I already see some lacing on my cup. So this is uh, a sign that I will get some lacing in my flowers in my flower okay and let's do this again some pearl white oops lizarian crimson and cadmium red and when you do this, you have to pay attention. You want to do your kind of petals as nice as you you can because this will affect your flower at the end. So you have to um, do this carefully, nicely. And... If you will lift your napkin right, you will get the nice result. And red, cadmium red, gold again, too much gold, and finish up with my black. 
up. Or maybe I want another layer of red for the middle. So I will use pearl white and this area in crimson and cadmium red. Okay. Blow this and in this stage you can uh, pull your uh, patterns towards the sides again or you can pull them towards the middle so today I decided that I will go this way You can do it differently every time and you will get different pattern and make sure that your middle looks nice too otherwise it can affect your um, flower shape too so as in many other things all little things are important if you want to get the nice result and I will spray my paper napkin with water just to soften it up not that it will be wet wet and I don't know my flower sh shape look a little squarish today but um, that's why I like to do this on my spinner because you can always spin it and stretch it out if you see that you don't like the pattern or something or if you just want to open your lacing and cells that it will appear a little more so at this point I'm a little afraid that I did this in square shape and that it will not be as nice shape as I want to but we will see grab four corners another four corners and try not to lift your napkin too high at this stage and try to keep the middle in the middle okay I will connect all those and lift and I didn't do a good job here you see but it's okay because um, I was so, I don't know, at uh, my beginnings with this, I was just totally, uh, that it has to be totally perfect or s at least as close as I think that it should be, but it's hard and um, sometimes if you just don't lift all the corners just right you have a space that it will be a little different or petal that it will be a little different 
but so because I really think that this flower is a little too squarish I will give it a spin and I will just try to pour this a little bit towards the middle and a final torch and I will be done so today I spin it out but you can leave it like it was before I spoon spin spoon I don't know the right word it out I will just torch it a little bit more just to maybe help this white cells from pearl white create a little more I kind of lost a lot of my pearl white I don't know I know why because I had pearl white and two reds not pearl white between every one of them but still I think that it's really nice shape at the end so I will just scrape this off a little oop, a little bit carefully and of course I will put it on the clean space to dry and then I will I will um, touch this once more the paint will not flow off again uh, continue flowing off the side so let's see the close-up I think that it's really really cool looking flower has so many layers of petals and this is gold with beautiful shimmer and lacing I think that it turned out pretty good looking flower so this is the next technique that you can do if you are not skilled as much that you would draw a flower but you want to create one <laughs> you can try this this way because you can get pretty nice looking flower so tell me what you think about it and see you on the next one bye